Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another live video. Before I do begin this particular uh, video, I do want to thank you all you guys for all the love and support that you showed in the last video I did. Uh, for anybody who didn't see it, I was struggling to get through uh, the fact that there were a lot, like a handful of people who were basically attacking the channel uh, at the time, but... The amount of positive feedback that came after that, um, I, that put a ginormous smile on my face, I'm not even going to lie. So, uh, thank you guys so much, and for all the kind words that were said, from uh, Little Miss Goth, uh, Be My Beautiful, Life Adventures of Christian, uh, Alicia Shepard, and David Broadhead. All five of you, thank you so much. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this video, which of those five was actually recommended by, or not recommended, suggested by one of them. Um, Life Adventures of Christian. Link in the description to his channel. Um, that He does a lot of vlogging stuff. I actually do support, and I don't think he does a good job with it. Uh, he has just recently passed 200 subs. If you guys have not subscribed to his channel or checked it out at least yet, I do recommend doing so. That being said, he actually brought the suggestion to talk about an issue that I actually overlooked somehow. This particular issue is... Um, now this does... Before I say it, this does not apply to every single one. Just a select certain amount. The amount, uh, the topic is the amount of abuse that has been put forward through police officers, and how some of them, emphasis on some of them, uh, have a tendency to abuse their power. Now, the, there is, I do support officers as a whole. In fact, half of my mom's side of my family actually are police officers, or at least some kind of supporter of the law. Mostly it's police officers. Um, that, in any case, I also actually have a high school friend who did end up going to college to become a police officer as well. Uh, I don't keep in touch with her anymore, but I did learn about this through Silver, my girlfriend, Silver, um, which... I do support that, and as long as these officers support the law in the sense that they should, um, where all are created, created equal, then by all means I support it. But there are a very select few who, you know, think they're higher than others, and they'll, like, abuse the power that they have. This is something that I really do frown upon. Because so many people have been abused in some kind of way, whether verbally, sexually, or, yes, even sexually, or physically abused by police officers. Now, this is off and on where it becomes big news or not, but just a one-time thing. Like, I believe the most recent one I've heard of was just about a week ago. So it's, it was very close by, and it was actually a sex abusive kind of thing. Not not sexual, not sexual where it's like sexual harassment. When we, the first kind of sexual harassment, you think more like gender kind of sex, where it was. I think it was a male. If I remember correctly, it's either this or the reverse. But it, it was either a male officer hating on a, like, abusing their power because the person that they were going up against, yeah, it was this, uh, because the person was female. And this kind of thing happens way too often, and it's just, it's painful to see. And the reverse happens too as well, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that just the one way does it. I've seen it happen in reverse, and it is horrible. And it's not just sexuality either, it's race. I still think back to one point where I remember seeing and getting approval through news sources 
that there was one officer at least well, there were several, but this one's the an example. So there was a particular officer who approached a black woman who was trying to take care of their child, and the officer pushed that woman metaphorically afterwards and another officer came out to support this. Now this was a while ago. Not many people may remember this, but it's definitely something to pinpoint of what I'm talking about. This woman was pulled out of her car and abused in front of her child. And the child was like two years old, if I remember the article correctly. Again, I might be wrong. It was a young. It was either. It was definitely at least at the most, age-wise, at the oldest, a toddler. That makes it a very big problem. Now, maybe some of you know what I was referring to when I say that, but it, I've noticed actually that most of the time, when this kind of abuse happens, it's usually male officers. I don't hear many circumstances where it's a female officer doing this. I do hear some. But for the most part, it's male. I don't understand it. it. And it's something that really needs to be looked into and taken into consideration. Now, don't get me wrong. Whenever this kind of thing does happen, the state or the department takes care of it almost instantly. For the most part. In fact, all the circumstances that come to my mind right now, they were taken care of that way. Like the officers for the like, last example I gave. Both of them got suspended. Or not suspended, terminated. From what the news source stated. Now, maybe I'm wrong. But again, that kind of thing, that kind of reaction, I don't blame for the reaction to happen that way. And it make it gives officers of the law a very bad name. For the most part, keep in mind, how I see it, for the most part, police officers do a fantastic job at what they do, at upholding the law. And I'm someone who's actually, to a degree, studied law. Now, that's not the main thing I've studied, as you guys have probably figured out through the videos, live videos that I do. But even so, it does kind of make a turnabout to the point where studying that actually does fall into the category. Now, that being said, once again, I do think this is a problem. But I don't think that it's a problem amongst all officers. In fact, it's a problem that should be heated. Something that should be looked out for. But not to the degree where people hate on officers, which is actually the other side of this coin. I've noticed so many people hating on police officers just because of, like, one particular... Just one group of particular individuals being idiots. And I don't... Con I don't consent to that at all. I really don't. Yes, there are a handful of police officers who do a crappy job at what they do because of their actions, but for the most part, as I've said already, they do a fantastic job. And because of the fact that there's that small group of officers who don't, a lot of the world from what I well, a lot of the world from what I've seen, has a tendency to judge pretty much the whole of it. And that is horrible. That's pretty much the flip side of this whole thing. Like for example, I've had conversations with people who I don't talk to anymore, but before the events of these kind of conversations, I used to talk to all the time. But then I'd hear somebody bring up, oh, you know what, I, I freaking hate blank department, blank police department, because this blank officer from some other random department ended up doing this abusive thing to this person who I know, and it made no sense to me. I'm like, D how does one tie into the other? Like, that kind of mindset happens more often than not, and that is what is sad about it. It's kind of sad to see how it goes both ways. The hate goes both ways. 
or you know what, hate isn't really the best word for it, but the disrespect, that's definitely a better word, the disrespect towards officers as well as the officers' disrespect towards the people who they watch over. It goes both ways, and it is upsetting. That being said, I am going to leave this particular video here, this particular topic here. If you guys have anything to add on to this, let me know in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for something else that I could talk about, let me know down there as well. Uh, once again, uh, thank you, Christian, for the suggestion for this topic. I had actually spaced it out, so I'm actually kind of glad you brought it up to me. Um, once again, if you guys want to check out his channel, live reactions to some things, most of the time it's music, or it's also challenges, he does blogging, or well, vlogging for the most part. It is scattered apart, but I do recommend watching his content if you like that kind of stuff. And it's more, I would say, if I were to relate it to something, it's probably more, it's closer to, um, what's a commonly known one would be the Ace family. Now, he's not exactly like them in any kind of way. He is his own self. But that's probably the closest thing I can actually pinpoint because that's one of the one of the channels that he looks up to. Once again, channel in the description below if you want to go check it out. If you're not already subbed, at least check out one of his videos. I do highly recommend it if you like vlogs. That being said, once again, I am going to leave this video here. Let me know what you guys think about what I've talked about in the comments below. If you have a suggestion, let me know down there as well. Just as a reiteration on those, if you want to check out more live stuff, live vlogging kind of stuff that I've done prior to this video, I have two different types of playlists. One is talks about my particular past, little stories from my personal life. If you guys want to learn more about me, uh, that should be on this side of the screen. If not, it'll be it'll be on one of the two sides. It's normally, I believe, on this side. Um, if you want to check out more videos like the one that I did today, or psychological stuff, just discussion and rants that I do, that'll be on the opposing side. Again, whichever side that might be. Um, if you like this kind of stuff, I do one of these type of videos every three days, or at least I try to. Sometimes it gets removed, like two videos ago. Um, but either way around, thanks again for watching, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like this kind of stuff, because I do it, again, once every three days. All the other videos are... Uh, gaming stuff, if you do like com comedic gaming stuff, I do consider checking that out as well. Consider checking out the channel, whether you click the thing that's right here or down there. Um, that being said, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.